Welcome back. Lana Frazier joins us this midday to talk about the Vico County Fair because we've got 4-H'ers and many 4-H'ers and adults um, competing this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we're going to find out who's going to get those blue ribbons. That's right. Tell Thursday night is Fashion Review Judging and all the sewing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Friday night then is the crafts and the photography and the creative writing and creative writing is a new project i wanted to plug uh -huh. because a lot of children out there did some writing during the winter and they can bring it to the fair friday and compete and if they haven't signed up for 4-h i'll have enrollment cards there it's not too late not so five to eight friday evening and then on saturday 8 30 to noon uh -huh. all the rest of the 4-h will be judged and another new project is create a mix so they can pick up a cookie mix a cake mix and if you change two things about it and bring it in and Does it have share. to be edible? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I thought it would be a fun one for those creative yeah. cooks out there. Oh, and I'm sure there know, are a lot of them. Which would be a lot of fun. And uh, there's just never been a category for that before. I like mm -hmm. that. I like that. I'm sure a lot of 4-H'ers extremely nervous because judging, that's that's putting everything on the line and seeing right. you know, how well you do. And blue ribbons, red ribbons, mm -hmm. we're going to see them all. And we do open judging. So you immediately talk to the judge and get feedback. Excellent. I, and I think that's a wonderful teaching thing. Mm -hmm. And I have wonderful judges, a lot of teachers, a lot of experts in their field that know how to talk with children, too. So, and I think, like I said, it's a real learning time. And I'm sure if there are some 4-H'ers watching right now, all the judges are going to be extremely nice. Oh, yes. Nobody's going to be mean. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm very picky. <laughs> the, the ultimate goal is to have blue ribbons across the board, but obviously we can't do that mm -hmm. because we have to decide who's going to the state fair. That's right. And you want to strive to be better. That's oh. the whole point. Let's learn in how to make things better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yes. a key. That's a key uh -huh. learning tool. And Sunday, the fair opens to the public. Right. And it's so important that you take the time to go take a look at all the exhibits because oh, so many people do. have put so much time and energy and effort into those exhibits. I'm sure there are a lot of frantic 4-H'ers and parents out there this week <laughs> trying to finish things up, but it'll all be worth it when they see it on display Sunday. What time on Sunday? Noon. Noon. The exhibit hall is open every day noon to 10. So go and check it out and the fair will wrap up the following Saturday. Thank you so much, Lana. Thank you, Susie. And we'll be right back.